I'm Matt from Wrestling Unlimited. Welcome to this Q&A. Gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages, welcome to Q and A thirty three, the Survivor Series themed Q and A here at the Wrestling Unlimited YouTube channel, the Wrestling Unlimited, well, excuse me, the Unlimited Facebook page, as well as the Unlimited One Twitter page. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a Q and A. I've actually been on camera for one because. I do one Q&A with Cowbell, and it's like all of a sudden everyone wants to do Q&As. The last two were done by Walter and Tyler, and I thank them for that. I'm back. Sadly, I'm with this guy. <laughs> Woo! If any of you don't know him, he is Kevin Nguyen. He is one of the co-hosts of the D-Radio X podcast. And if you would like to listen to any of our podcasts, I'm going to be uploading them to SoundCloud. You haven't done that yet? I have not done that yet. I've down, it's I a work uploaded, in progress, ladies and gentlemen. It's a work in progress. Time. I Trust up, the process. I uploaded one episode there already. You didn't share it to, to us? I did. Not to did me. Did I? No, not to me. Wow. Yeah. I'm a co-host and I didn't even know about this. The link to that channel will be in the description box down below, as well as information on how you can submit questions for a future Q&A. Video. And my social media. Follow me. Actually, no, don't do that. Really, nobody... Does really, anybody really want to, though? I don't post anything weird. I really don't. No, as you weird just, as I am in person, I don't post weird stuff you, on no, social No, you media. just dab and praise John Cena. That's only on this show. Anyway, Survivor <laughs> Series-themed <laughs> Q&A. Uh, the questions, I made it open to any past fu or future Survivor Series event, as well as Survivor Series that is coming up this Sunday... Also, if you would like to listen to our predictions, they will be on the D Radio X podcast for today. We're recording this link on, in the description. The link in the description box. We're gonna record the record. Excuse me. We're recording this Q and A on Thursday. We're reporting recording the podcast on Thursday. All that will be up today, which is Friday. So yeah, ready? Yes. Let's kick it off with Tom Collier. Is Randy Orton the best Survivor Series performer of all time? Has he ever lost? Yes. 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 Team Kofi. Yes. And no, twice now. I think yeah. It. He was on Team oh, and Foley. Team... Foley, right? And 2011, didn't he lose to... Sheamus? Was it a 1v1 match then? No, wasn't it like... Wasn't it like Team Orton versus Team Barrett? And the final two were like Barrett and Cody Rhodes? Look, so. look at where both of them are, are at now. Um, you could make an argument for him. He's very man. good, but he's not... I don't think he's the best. I think he's up there, though. He's up he's there, but... one of the best performers. Uh, you, you can go back and look at old school guys like Hogan, but that's pretty obvious. In this era, I think Orton is one of the best. In this era, I'll go with Randy Orton. Dylan Rumor, who's gotten the best push... From a Survivor Series, tra tra excuse me, traditional Survivor Series match. It was supposed to be Kofi Kingston. It was supposed to be Dolph What Saber. could have been? What could have been? Yeah, that was 
Oh, I was what? really mad in 09, because that was when I first started watching wrestling. Kofi yeah. was my favorite, still is. I love Kofi. And that push should have led him to a Money in the Bank at WrestleMania, which Jack Swagger <laughs> won, of all people. And won title in two days. Yeah, and yeah. Led, had an irrelevant title run. And then, then became super ultra-serious Jack Swagger. And then, he didn't crack a smile. Yeah. And that lasted all of about five seconds. But, best push... The Undertaker? Probably. I mean, there's no other way <laughs> By to... By default? <laughs> there's no other way to really push besides making your debut on such a grand stage at a Pretty big much. four pay-per-view. And look at where that led him. Mm-hmm. World titles, undefeated at WrestleMania. For 20 years. Only 21. Vince's the greatest creation. Yeah. You know. Why is Survivor Series the only show Dolph Ziggler ever does well on? That's a really good point, actually. 2014. That's a very good point. 2012, like you mentioned. A very good point, because... Good question. Mania, Ziggler has, has under, underperformed. SummerSlam, he's lost a couple times. Money in the Bank, he's been successful, I guess, but Survivor Series has kind of been his calling card. Pretty much. He's had two big traditional wins against Orton and then against Team Authority. Yeah. Team Authority, he became Superman for the night. And, and, and did they follow up on it? No! Tyler Harper. Ugh. That love, guy. Love that guy. Ugh, that, that guy. guy. Oh, God. He's the reason why he's here. Uh, Actually, you favorite, are. Good point. Favorite Survivor Series match that wasn't a 5v5? Uh, you want to go first? I need to think of it. Over the past couple years... For nostalgic purposes, Rock and Cena versus Miz and Truth, even though that completely ruined Miz and Truth. And Rock Well, Miz for the mm-hmm. time being, mm-hmm. but our truth pretty much forever. Uh, greatest match. You can always go with the Montreal Screwjob, just because of how <laughs> great the finish was. <laughs> My wrestling knowledge doesn't go that far back, although That's fine. I know that, but... When I think of Survivor Series, non like traditional five v five elimination, I'm thinking back to O nine, the triple threat between Cena and DX. <laughs> Sean Michaels out of the bat. Oh, let's give you, let's give everybody a super kick. <laughs> to be honest, that was a very good match. You know what? The <laughs> what? Oh. That's my favorite part of that match <laughs> is in the first five seconds, Shawn Michaels just completely <laughs> out of nowhere super kicks the crap out of Triple H. That was a very good match. And you're walking in on our Q and A that we're recording right now. Oh, Alec. I walked in on you, did I? Yes, you did. Ladies and gentlemen, Al Costable right behind us. Hello, he I have know. Subway. He has Subway, and I have Coke, and I stole his water. Here you I go. stole it back. I give it back to you. You know what? But yeah, the Survivor Series Q&A awkwardly rolls on. You could join in if you want. Sure. Uh, so I'll ask you this question. I know your knowledge doesn't go that far back like his does. Survivor Series 2000... Uh, no, two. that's that's not what I'm asking. Favorite oh, okay. Survivor Series match oh. that wasn't a 5-on-5. Five five. And I don't think um, anybody wanted to see your stomach, but thanks a lot. Was the... They want, we, I want them to subscribe to the channel, not avoid the channel. You know what? Um, was the three-way tag team cha- elimination championship match, is, was that uh, Survivor Series? When was that? Uh, with Angle Benoit. Uh, no, that was No Mercy. Wait. Oh, mercy. No, no, no. It was either SummerSlam or with the Guerreros and... Hmm. And who was the other... I think t- that was Edge No Mercy. And, Edge and Rey Mysterio? Oh, no, no, no. No Mercy was a regular... T- uh, I don't... Was that Survivor Series or was that SummerSlam? It might have been SummerSlam. I don't remember it being Survivor Series. It think could be. One. Think of another one. Favorite non-Survivor Series... Favorite non-traditional Survivor Series match on a Survivor Series. This is hard for me. Yeah. You lost your voice. Huh? If you lost your voice there. A little bit. Cat's because got your I'm tongue? still sick. Yeah. And Honestly, he's... I don't know. Oh, did you find your wallet? No. God. I lost my wallet today. Send me money. 
We're gonna Says just... every college kid. By the way, uh, Alex's address will be in the description box down below. Just, just PayPal. Yeah. Just PayPal. Okay, that, that works too. I'm going to put his home address there. I was, yeah, or you okay. can send him a good old-fashioned letter. Send me a letter! You yeah. know? Why not? Or you can it's, stalk it's him. Fan medium. mail. It's or a can... lost medium. All right, this is getting out of control. We can go to his house and, you know, try to... Egg his house. I mean, I'm not there for most of the year, but go ahead. You want when to just... he is there. Let's, Let's just skip to the next question. Is three traditional Survivor Series matches too much? I was yeah, under your assumption, like, past years, like, it'd be two, and that's the way I've liked it. Well, three, in this situation, with the brand split just happening, I don't see it as an issue. The tag team one is the only if one oof. I have. So if you want to have, just because there's... 20 people on that the is, same break. That is going to be a cluster. I agree. Unless they do it where it's one representative of each team. Which uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Which I'd be fine with. Uh, it's not going to happen, but I'll That kind of sucks. Be, but it's going to be a cluster. and that's What like, matches on the card aren't the Survivor Series matches besides Gold, the Goldberg, Goldberg, match. Goldberg Lesnar? Zayn Miz. Zay, well, yeah, IC yeah, match. Yeah, the IC match. Um, I think that's it. There's only five matches on the... Kendrick we? Kalisto. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For the yeah. entire... For the uh, entire cruiser cruiserweight... Division. Oh, man, what a I'm stipulation. I'm excited about that. Thing. I am. That's because a great stipulation. If you what? want our predictions, subscribe to the podcast. See, what, what I could see happening Good is... Good plug, right? Gr- great job. I could. What I could see happening with that is... I could see Raw getting the IC... This title. isn't our... This isn't our prediction Just show. go. Keep going, prediction. keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm saying I could see Raw getting the IC title and then SmackDown getting the Cruiserweight title. Maybe they bring back something like the European title. Oh, and there, then there's just too many titles. More, There already is too many titles. <laughs> but I mean, what's the mid-card going to fight for on SmackDown? Then? Well, who cares at this point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I care. If you're not a main eventer, you don't matter. Unless you're The Miz. Or Dolph That's Ziggler, who gets chance after chance after chance after chance. Dylan... Dylan Dylan Messerschmidt, yay. What if there was Survivor Series and stairs? There oh, could I love be. It. I love it. I mean, I ev- love the idea. Ev- Wait, Cowbell, you genius. Wait, aren't there disqualifications in the five on five matches? No. Yes. No. Yeah, there are. There yes. are. Because remember, they had to knock out the ref in order for Ziggler to have his big time moment. Didn't Bret Hart get disqualified? Well, that was the Montreal screw job. No, 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 no. When he came back in the 2010. That was the Nexus the Survivor Series. That wasn't the match. That was oh, Summer that Street. was SummerSlam, but it was yeah. a, but it was a yeah, Survivor I, I get what you're style saying. match. I was, you know what I meant. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna let Kevin take this one. Well, I'm gonna take half of it. Team WWE versus Team TNA. Who would you put on each team? Let's use the current roster. The current roster. Why are people? What? What? Hello. Yes. Yeah. I grab my thing, so that's Surely. <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Sorry. I left them in the secret spot. No problem. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Are you guys having meetings? We're actually recording a YouTube video, and we're live right now. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. Say hello to the world. <laughs> Everyone comes in. You know what? Everyone could just come in. <laughs> Why not? More the merrier. More the merrier. This is fun. No problem, guys. We're Have a good one. I think we can all agree this is the most dysfunctional Q and A video ever. What do you do? Okay, Team WWE versus Team TNA. Let's use the current roster. I'll give you oh, the, the WWE roster? guys. I don't know I'll TNA. do the I'll do the TNA guys. You pick one and then I'll pick one. We'll alter. So this is between well, Raw and SmackDown. You could pick Raw or SmackDown. Yeah. So I'm gonna start with Styles. I'll go with Matt Hardy. Go with Kevin Owens. I'll go with Jeff Hardy. I will go John Cena. I'll go EC3. I will go. I'll go Braun Strowman. I'll go Lashley. And then you, said, I, you put a power guy in there. I'll put the power guy in there, too. And then I will put Roman Reigns. Aaron Rex. No, I'll go Drew Galloway. I would have put Aaron Rex in there somewhere. Also, I'll, I'll do this one. 
Team WWE 80s All-Stars versus Team WWE 90s All-Stars. Who would you put on each team, and why are you such a TNA solider? <laughs> Can I do one of them? Wasn't the last question, too? Yes. Yeah. I just ignored it the first yeah. time. Let me do one of the teams. You want to do the 90s? Sure. I'll do the 80s. All right, pick one. Stone Cold. Hogan. The Rock. Savage. Uh, let's go with Razor Ramon. Andre. Diesel. Warrior. Oh, yeah, Michaels. Yeah, that... Er, do I want to put Taker on... I'm going to put Taker on the team. Michaels will have a singles match somewhere else on the card. Okay, and I'll go... Let's see. I said Andre Hogan, Savage, Warrior. Steve-O. Haystacks, Calton. I'll pick... I'll go a little outside of the box. I'm going to pick Rick Rude. I like that choice. Why? He's an underrated wrestler. He is. Should be a Hall of Famer. I don't understand why he's not. He isn't? No, he's not. And neither is Owen, but that's probably not going to happen for a while. Yeah. Vader needs to go in this. Vader year. needs to go in like ASAP. Yeah, he needs to. He's going to die in two years. Uh, you know, thoughts and prayers are with Vader and his Oh, family. my God, yeah. Uh, Walter. Definitely. Walter, the only guy, the only big guy that can do a moonsault so well. <laughs> He's 450 pounds and he does a moonsault. Like, that's incredible. And he just had a match with Will Ospreay. I know. Which he won, I think. We're going to finish off with Walter Main's 10 questions. Woo! What is your favorite traditional Survivor Series match? You go. I can tell you which one it wasn't. The one in 2014 where Ziggler was Superman. Actually, I was going to choose that one. Okay, if you could choose that one. Because I haven't that's watched definitely many not mine. <laughs> I haven't watched many of the traditional <sighs> that's Survivor fine. Series matches. So I'm going to go 09, Co- Kofi versus Orton. Yeah. There's one moment of... <laughs> a, f- a favorite of mine... Let me go back to 2009. It was my best year. <laughs> <laughs> a favorite of mine, 2005, Raw versus SmackDown. I was going to say the 2002. 2002 also, yeah. 2002 in general was just a great year for the Big Four. Oh my god, yeah. Especially SummerSlam and Survivor Series. Those were the two of the best ever. I still can't remember if that triple uh, yeah, tag it team elimination match was SummerSlam or Survivor it Series. It wasn't, I don't think it was SummerSlam. Because I remember, I think Edge was in a singles match against Ray. <laughs> <laughs> How funny. <laughs> They're teaming up, so why not just I, I have think they were the tag team champions. Who I'm the tag team champion. Next question. Who do you like... Okay, excuse me. Would you like to see Survivor Series go back to its roots of only the traditional matches? No. Nope. Too many people on the roster. And really? plus... plus, I wouldn't say too many people. On the roster, but then like it would just be... It would be really repetitive. It'd be very repetitive. It would get to a point where all of them look exactly the same. <laughs> Rob Van Den was on the poster. Good God. I love Rob Van Dam. Do you prefer four versus four or five versus five? Five versus five. Five versus five. Traditional. Six versus six. Speaking of six Let's versus six. Let's go ten to ten. Uh, should, excuse me, if WWE is to ever bring yes, back... Yes, yes, it was in Survivor Series. Okay, there we go. So that's my There's non- yours. traditional All right. fantastic match. Highly suggested. If w- Los Guerreros versus Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit versus Edge and Rey Mysterio. Kurt Angle and who? Chris Benoit. Who? Who? Oh, sorry. I'm not sorry. It's like camouflage. You can say wrestling. it. It doesn't matter. You can't, you can't see it. You can't say it. Oh, God. Wait, you, w- can't, you can't see it? Oh. Freaking hell! What if John Cena wore camouflage? He did. But, like, would, he did. would it cancel out each other? No. Since you can't see the camouflage? Yeah, oh, my God. If WWE see- is to ever bring back war games, do you see Survivor Series being the event to do it? Why not just bring back Fall Brawl? I could see it because 2015, the only Survivor Series match was a throw-off before the show even started. There's which, in, the show. which involved the Money in the Bank winner who was cashing in in the main event, jobbing. Yeah. Sh- yeah, I think it should be brought back. It's I Survivor think it's Series. Event. Honestly, yeah, I would see that too. It should be a ton of Like, event. build up. Like, you need some sort of faction, though. I yeah. Think. And Unless you did, like, a, a Raw versus SmackDown and just bring, no, I put the five I best. No, you have to bring it back for something so barbaric. Yeah. Like, that there's some faction. Let's say the Wyatt family gains an extra one or two members and they go on a tear. Yeah. And it's just, like, people want to try to stand up. They bring back war games. 
Series. Why not? Should every Survivor Series since 2010 just be forgotten about? <laughs> yes. All right, you know what? Let me think about it. I like 20. Say what you will about 2011. The show was better than I thought it'd be. So that's the only show that... I'm reminding you of Descartes. The, I still the, like the main, event was, main event was Rock and Cena versus... Oh, that's Miz right. And that was in... That was in uh, you also MSG, had... Right? Yes. You also had I remember that show Morrison now. versus whoever the US champ was. Ziggler? Maybe it was Miz or Brian. It or wasn't Matt. Miz. Miz was the main event. Was it Brian? It wasn't Brian. No. You sure? Brian was... Was he in NXT then? Or was that beforehand? No. Wait a minute. Maybe no, was Brian, Brian was Brian was Money in the Bank. It was the Money in the Bank winner at that time. Did he cash in that night? No. No, no, no. he cashed in TLC. Big night. Show versus Mark Henry. That was actually better than expected. And yeah. that, I'm saying 2014, you can't forget about Sting. He came to WWE. That doesn't excuse Finally. The, that doesn't excuse the fact that the whole show sucked. I think I liked I liked the Survivor Series match. It was, 2015. It's it not like it took way. Too oh long. no, 2015 worse. 2015 was probably that worse. killed Survivor Series, and that's why they have to put Speaking so much of, build into it this year. I think there was a question about 2015. Oh no, there wasn't. Okay, uh, if Shawn Michaels is Mr. WrestleMania, who is Mr. Survivor Series? Like I said earlier, Randy Orton, Undertaker, um, under, yeah, or Undertaker, or The Rock. Spe and Shawn Michaels isn't Mr. WrestleMania. I'm sorry, Undertaker's Mr. We, WrestleMania. We could say The Rock. He debuted. We could say The Rock, too, yeah. 96. Mavia. Oh, God. Die, Rocky, Rocky die. Uh, oh, my God. What would you say is the worst traditional Survivor Series match? The one last year where it was literally meant nothing. Wasn't there a Divas one a couple years nothing. back? Nothing. Every Divas one in existence, except, not, except this like, year's. This year, yeah. Well, they're not Divas. They're women. Excuse me, mis you misogynistic bastard. Oh, screw you. You're the one that invaded the Q&A like, right in the middle, along with the, that group of people. You know what? I may have to do some editing. I may include them just for comedy. Um, the worst one? <laughs> I mean, I'm going to say Tiva's one from the past, from the past years, because I'm pretty That's sure those are pretty horrific to watch. Oh, wait a minute. Was it Survivor Series where they did Team Total Divas versus Team... Yes, yes. Or was it SummerSlam? Whatever it was. Oh God! It was. It was. That Survivor was Meltzer's. Series. That was Meltzer's worst match of the year. It was well deserved. Because I'm pretty sure JoJo got a pin. Yes, she did. That's oh, right. God. She was a wrestler. I love JoJo. I love. I JoJo. love JoJo. I love looking at JoJo her. JoJo is the best of both. She's a great worlds. announcer, but she don't get in the ring. And please. a good singing voice. Oh. Could you see WWE? Upping the sides to six versus six in the future, or no. would that be overkill? That's, That's overkill. overkill. The ten, the ten on ten is overkill. Oh. Six on anything above five is just pushing it. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the ten on ten, uh, how cluttered will the ten versus ten Survivor Series match be? Very. Very. The opponents will be touching each other by that point. Unless, again, they do one member of each team, which would be the smart move. You would think that in the build-up to Survivor Series, they would actually, oh, I don't know, uh, tell us how the match works. Mm -hmm. Like that flag match a couple years ago with Swagger and Rusev. Oh, and no one, remember? Remember when everyone thought, oh, you have to grab your flag? No, you actually have to end the match via pinfall or submission, yet no that one That was the that. stupidest stipulation. And the, oh, the winner gets to raise their flag. What do you think they do on the way in? Last question. Would you have liked to see an NXT Survivor Series match to showcase the talent to a wider audience? Yes. I, yeah. I'd actually love to see that. What better, especially... They have, like, a they mix, have depth. Have, like, yeah. the heel talent on one side and the babyface yeah. talent on the other. Especially so considering... You can balance the talent. Exactly. And that way the teams might actually get together. You know, or get along. You yeah. know what I mean? I will think depth might be a little bit of an issue if there's... Um, uh, you can get they away don't with build that, up though. enough guys. Mm. Why don't... No, well, that's what well, you how do. About, how about you, you have you... one or two guys who need build. Or how that's about you... you build them. Or how about you put the NXT guys that are already on the main roster on the team? Or you... Kind of have... like the main roster working with the, the new guys. Yeah. Or you would do this at um, uh, TakeOver. Yeah. Although it'd be harder to do, that's that's, like, that's, 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 that's what I was thinking of. Multiple matches. That's what I was thinking of because, yeah. like, if you have the fuse already going on right now, and then you have the title match. I look at it this way: if you're still going to consider NXT developmental, what better way to get them ready for the big show than by putting them on the big show? Mm -hmm. Even I wouldn't mind seeing 
an NXT Championship match as the pre-show or as the first match of a WrestleMania. And I think a traditional Survivor Series match will really cool. help with that because I see a traditional Survivor Series match as a way to really build some storyline. Yeah. Think about the men's match that we have coming up Sunday. We have all three members of the Shield. Dean Ambrose on one side, Seth Rollins and Reigns on the other. You have both you have champions. Wyatt on one side, you have Braun Strowman on the other, and you have Randy Orton, whatever he's doing. Yeah. That's interesting. And then you have Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. They're both champions. Yeah. Who would have thought that ever would have happened? <laughs> and then there's Shane McMahon. <laughs> But yeah, I know. I totally I, see what you're saying. I actually think there's a chance that he might get replaced with Taker. No. Think about it. I could see Taker on the Survivor Series show. Not there. We'll get I, to that in production. I could see it. Thank you for. Well, actually, let me close out with this question. Uh, do you think Survivor Series will be better than Takeover? And do you think it'll be better than last year's? Oh, it'll be way better than last year's. I it'll be better than TakeOver, in my opinion. I think it will. It depends on how you look at there's it. Not the, there's if you're going to look at in-ring quality, is going to be better. I mean, they're going to have a rematch with DIY and The Revival, which was is my match of the year, yeah. that tag match from the last TakeOver. I still have to go back and watch. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but I need to see the whole match. I love the storytelling. It's phenomenal. Yeah, the only match that made Walter cry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for joining us, Q and A thirty three. Thank you to Kevin, my original guest, and that guy for showing up. Uh, like I said, uh, the link to our SoundCloud will be in the description box down below. The information on how to submit questions for future Q and As description box down below. If you would like to see the other Q and A videos, please go to the playlist up here. I put an annotation on you. What? You can edit it annotation? Exactly. Okay. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit the click, bleh, the link up here. Or the red button down below. Or that, yeah. Make sure you also look at some of the other great content on this channel. Uh, big announcement coming in the next week. Hope to have you guys involved. See you Bye! Later.